cinema just stand up and start skanking i see girls on the chairs brocking out to the tree like they're in a rave it became a club big up our original jungle is massive the original downside jungle is dare general leave you alongside dj magazine with the story of incredible and the world is in trouble boom Maddy will have them up in them like a windmill You talk for them, go to them a week of the skill Dance girl, nice and let's bend them on the bill I the girls see you with vices like them teams get the feel Pass out with them in the pass out with them in the court like with them in the chill I go win a cypher winner, one at the hill So a gentleman called Pete Tong is a DJ, Pete Tong, big man, legendary Pete Tong He was my A&R man at London Records And they were trying to market me like Shaggy Respect to Shaggy, respect to Shaggy, but my thing is different from Shaggy, you know? So they put me on this Toots and the Matos track called Monkey Man. So when we done this song now for London Records, it came out and it didn't do very well in the charts. Went to number 50 something, 53 in the charts. It failed, you know? So when I went into London Records the next week, you know, everybody's head was down. When I came in the room, everybody was just doing their work. There was no red carpet. When it flopped now, they, they didn't know what to do with me. And I was kind of like on the, on the verge of being shelved. As in between of that that low point, I was approached by Junior Hart and M Beat Marlon to do the track. Incredible. I'm in two minds here now. Do I rely on or wait for um, London Records to get their act together and how they're going to market me? Or do I do what I love doing, make music? I said yes. I went in and I did it. When you're signed to a company, you can't just go and do tunes for your mates. <laughs> All right, which is basically what I did. When I went into the booth in Vons to do it, I was testing the mic. Just testing the mic and seeing what I could do with it and how it would sound. And I done it, I just went, well, big up! Our original jungle is massive. The original downside jungle is there. Jennifer I leave you alongside MB. The world is in trouble. And then bam, went into the tune. And it was like, when I finished that, I said to them, yeah, you ready to do the tune now? You ready now? They goes, no, 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 we got it. We got it. No, 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 come out, come out, come out the booth. We got it. I was like, you know, like, what? That's too crazy. How's that going to work? That's too much energy. It's like, I'm shouting. We we'll lace the track down in one take. Bam. Yo, my will love them. I spin them like a windmill. You talk for them, go to them and we got the skill. Dance, girl, nice and let's win the impossible. I think I'll see you with my sis like them. And then when I came back um, a week later, basically, to hear they'd mix the tune, they'd put an element in the song that I didn't actually do. That bar was wicked, wicked, jungle is massive. So basically, I'd say wicked on about the third verse. I, then I'll leave you upon them, my wicked, original, minimum, 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 minimum. And as, as the years have progressed, that wicked, wicked has become one of the biggest signatures for that track. And I took it to my manager and said, look, I found something. You lot have been struggling. Hear something? Look, can you hear it? Look, the Commander B played it last night. It mush up the whole place. It's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a banger. And my manager, who's Erskine Thompson, rest in peace. Erskine Thompson said, "No, don't get involved. It's a fad. This scene's gonna be over next summer. Stick to your London records. We're developing you. Don't get involved. You've done the track. Fair enough. Now don't do the video. I said, okay, but I did the video." <laughs> When they released the track now, it went to number 28 in the charts. It should have gone further, but because it was an independent label, it wasn't getting that love from the mainstream charts because it's like a club thing, it's a clicky thing. You got to be in, you can't just come out of nowhere and get a number one. Lambert Festival in, in Brockwell Park, South London. But that was when the track just came out and it was Commander B set. I was just in the park and Commander heard I was in the park. He said, yo, come, you know what I mean? Come, come and do the track. I went on the stage and as soon as I hit the stage, the crowd went crazy. When that track dropped live in the park and I performed it for the first time, we had to pull up the track about nine times. The crowd were pulling me all over the place. The crowd, the girl were pulling up my vest. I always remember the security was like, Woof. It's like they, they had to do their work that day. I did an interview with a magazine called The Face. It was done at a time when I just done a concert 
very incredible. Actually, on the stage, I'd said to the fans that this is our music. We've actually created something new for ourselves, as as uh, generally as a, as a, as the UK. And that's what, all I meant by it. When I came off the stage, I spoke to a journalist, and um, you know, we, I mean, you four I said, yeah, we've we've done it. You know, we've we, 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 we've we've got something that's ours, and we've created something which is ours. You know but it was taken the wrong way by some of the um, gatekeepers of the scene who saw it as disrespectful that I was saying that um, I created Jungle. And then I was looked at as uh, egotistical, big-headed, who does he think he is? You know, at first I shrugged it off. It was like, come on, everybody's enjoying the track so much. I didn't look at these people as like, really, are you serious? This lady came to my house and they did an interview and they asked me um, my views on it. I was supposed to apologize apparently then, but nah. I was not apologizing for anything because we'd done nothing wrong. So people who would take that now and use that as ammunition to try and boycott me. DJs were banned from playing the track. Bookings were starting to get um, deleted. Like for instance, top DJs wouldn't work on the same bill as me. If I was on the bill, they, they weren't gonna work. So the promoters were left with a situation of who do I book? These five top DJs or this this guy with this big big, big song. I went through a lot of um, a lot of a lot of dark times um, regarding that that that, that song backstage but up front it's always been jiggy the shows have always been blessed and the public have always been lovely to me london records saw the potential i said okay he's been a bit naughty but we're going to try and negotiate something so they they had a meeting with, with, with rink i wasn't there nothing to do with me i'm just the artist rink and london records made an agreement a licensing agreement and they re-released the track. And when they re-released it, with the help of London Records, Polygram, boom, number eight in the charts. I think if we didn't have that kind of, that controversy of the, these, the, 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 the gatekeepers of the scene, I think we would have even got a number one. I've never received a royalty statement from, from London Records or from Rank Rank. Every time I talk to Rank, Rank say, well, I gave London all the paperwork. I've given London, London's got everything. Yeah, London's got it. They blame London. You go to London, London blames somebody else, and you end up running around in a circle. So I've never been able to um, get a royalty statement. I don't know how much money, how much how much has sold. It's been on so many different compilations. It's been released in so many countries around the world. And I've never, ever received not one pound for that song from the industry. Then you know, Warner Brothers put it in the Ali G movie. That was a real blessing for me because I needed that fuel. I was like, God gave me strength. I went into the cinema to watch it by myself. And I watched, I didn't know what's gonna happen. I'm just sitting down there watching it. The whole cinema's ran with people. And then that bit comes on. Wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. Wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. Wicked, wicked. Jungle is massive. I see the whole cinema just stand up and start skanking. I see girls on the chairs brocking out to the tree like they're in a rave. It became a it became a club, and nobody knew who I was. No one knew who I was at that time. I'm just sitting there watching everybody go crazy in the cinema, and I was just like, wow! I never, I could never forget. It's such a feeling, such a moment. I couldn't believe it was me. And not only that, it took me around the whole world. Because that was how a lot of cinemas reacted around the world. I did like a decade of this peer touring on that song. I went to the um, One Extra to do an interview about another track that I had uh, coming out called Pull Up. When we were in the foyer, all of these guys were coming through, you know, these big garage guys, Dizzy Rascal, you know, all these fecky. One of the ladies come over there and notice board and she said, no, no, leave it, you want it in that room. I was like, but wait, 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 what room? That room's full. And basically I just got chucked into this room full of lions. Yeah, this song, 20 years. We did this tune here 20 years ago, seen? All right, remember, we don't do two, three summer tune. Our tune lasts for 20 years. Watch out, what we tell the wood boy? Bang! 
the whole team just went crazy. They 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 turned 14, they're going crazy. Booyaka, booyaka, everything. They know the whole words of the song, they know the words and everything. And that was a golden moment. Out of the grime nation, out of the grime youth, them, out of the urban youth, them. Big up! Our original jungle is massive. The original dance out jungle is there. Jennifer, leave you alongside Mr. Jam. The world is in trouble. What's your name, Rigos? This is the Inca, 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 my Mr. Jam. Say that to that. Sensation, I'm gonna come here. Inca, 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 You'll never know what influence you've had on us. That moment on One Extra really stamped me into the back into the UK consciousness of the, the now generation. That show gave me a lot of relevance around the world and the way how it went down. It was a beautiful moment in UK urban history. And that's what it's about, bringing people together. Icky, icky, icky.